What is going on, you guys? Today, we're gonna to talk about how you can get photos with that nice, soft, creamy background. Creamy background, does that sound okay? Is that, is that okay? All right, okay. Anyways, we're gonna go out today, you guys. We're gonna learn how to create a shallow depth of field using just beginner camera equipment. Let's get into it, let's make it happen. All right, you guys know that one of the best ways to get good photos is to make sure your viewer knows what your photo is, uh, what your subject is. And one of my favorite ways to do that is to make it so that the only thing in your photo that's in focus is your subject. We're gonna take the background and everything else in the photo, and we're gonna get it completely out of focus. It's called a shallow depth of field, and I got five tips on how to get the shallowest depth of field possible with whatever camera equipment you have. Let's get after it. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is get our camera set up correctly. So what we're gonna do is come down here onto our mode dial. We're gonna get this thing off of auto, you guys. We got no time for that nonsense. And we're going to AV or aperture priority. This might look different on different cameras, but you're looking for one that starts with an A, then that puts us in control of what's called the aperture. All right, so now that we got our mode dials and aperture priority, the next thing we want to do is switch to our lowest f-stop possible. And if you don't know what that means, that's totally fine. I'm going to show you right now. All right, so check this out. Here I am in the back of my camera, and this number right here is my f-stop. It'll usually start with an f, so that's a good sign that, that that's the number you're looking for. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this f-stop to the lowest number we have. So in this case, you'll notice the lowest number I can get, I'm turning this little wheel right here, and the lowest number I can get is f6.3. One of the things you have to be careful of is that number will change based on where you have your zoom on your lens, on most lenses. So you can see as I put this to 15 millimeters, I can actually go quite a bit lower and go all the way down to f3.5. Don't worry too much about what that number is, just worry about getting it as low as your camera will allow you to get it. So let me show you why that f-stop number matters so much. I'm gonna go ahead and take this shot right here with my f-stop at the highest number my camera goes, which in this case is f40. And you can see when I take that, the almost the entire chain and the barrel in the background are in focus. So I'm gonna switch it now to the lowest f-stop that I have, which again, in this case is f6.3 because of where I have my zoom at. And you can see when I do that, the chain is only a little bit in focus. The rest of the chain and the barrel in the background are all blurry. So the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is our focal length or the zoom or what kind of lens we're using. To get the shallowest depth of the field, you wanna be on the higher focal length or the higher zoom number. So in this case, you can see I can zoom from 15 to 45 on this lens. I'm gonna get a much shallower depth of field at 45 millimeters than I am at 15 millimeters. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, so here I am trying to take this photo of my boy Mitch here. And you can see I'm at 15 millimeters. And even with my f-stop as low as it goes, you can see when I take this photo, I do not get a very blurry background. This is an f-stop of f3.5. So this is pretty low. I'm really not getting that shallow depth of field at all. All right, so I've got my zoom now set to 45 millimeters. And because I've increased my focal length, I haven't changed anything else. Actually, my f-stop actually went up. It went higher and I'm still getting a more blurry background. I'm getting that smashed background that I wasn't getting before at 15 millimeters. And it's really helping us get that shallow depth of field. We're gonna head to a little bit different spot because I wanna show you what I think is one of the most important tips, and that's how far away you are from your subject. You guys, the closer you are to your subject, the easier it is to get that shallow depth of field. So you can see, even with all of my settings correct, if I'm trying to get a shallow depth of field photo of this leaf right here, it's just not gonna work because I'm too far away. But watch what happens as I move my camera in closer to the subject. The closer I get, the more shallow that depth of field gets and the easier it is to get that blurry background. Let's get that thing to focus. There you go. And look at that, look at that, how nice and creamy that background is. And my subject is still super sharp. And I really like the looks of that. All right, guys, my last tip is all about moving your subject away from the background. I got my boy Tristan in here. And no matter what I do, no matter what camera settings I use, it's gonna be really hard, if not impossible, to get that door behind him blurry because he's just so close to it. And I just can't get that shallow of a depth of field. So what I'm gonna have him do is I'm gonna move him out quite a bit. So I'm gonna have him come out towards me, stop right there. I'm gonna get all my other settings just right. And we'll take that shot and see how it looks. So I moved Tristan out away from the doorway. I've got it as close as I can get. Still got my shot. I'm zoomed in. I got my f-stop low. And you can see when I take this photo, I get a much shallower depth of field there. All right, you guys, so that's it. Those are the five things you need to be doing to get a shallow depth of field. This is really gonna help improve your photography and really gonna help your subject stand out. So let's do a quick 30 second review of the five tips for getting a shallow depth of field. One, set your mode dial on your camera to aperture priority. Two, use the lowest f-stop that your lens will give you. Three, Three. You can check, yeah. I gotta check. <laughs> I know, Ma, I just wanna make sure I get them in order. Three, use the highest zoom that you can get out of your camera. 
four, get in close to your subject, and five, whenever possible, get your subject farther away from the background. You do those five things, you're gonna get that nice, creamy, shallow depth of field that everybody loves in their photos. And if you wanna just keep learning more and more about photography, I'm gonna keep posting cool content like this, so please consider liking this video, hitting that subscribe button, and turn on notifications. Have a good one. I want to give a shout out to my crew here. I got, uh, where are they? Tristan Robinson, TJ Weber, and Mitch Sumner over here helping me shoot today. Huge thanks to them. Couldn't have made this video without them. And these guys are all budding YouTube stars. I'll put links down to their YouTube channels in the description. You can check them out, especially uh, TJ Weber back there. He's, <laughs> especially Tristan, he's got an awesome YouTube channel. He works down in Los Angeles filming some really cool stuff. So uh, anyways, have a good one, you guys.